Hello folks, it's that YouTube time again. Anyways, um, this is Eva coming to you from Seattle, Washington. Um, so today I just want to basically bring to light everything that I've been going through in the last week or so um, as far as activism and as far as putting stuff up on the internet and reactions and things that I've seen to other, you know, other media and things like that. Excuse me. So if you know me very well, you know that I do not pay attention or watch TV. TV is an international slut fest, um, basically, of information. Um, they use the same information over and over again. Same exact media company. Pretty much, I mean, the same, the same nine media, or six, actually. The same six multimedia companies own every single media aspect out there on national television. Everything. That means that reporters that are working for Fox News, CNN, NSNBC, any of those places, or MSNBC, any of those places is getting false media false reporting. Um, they're not reporting correctly. They're not doing their job, basically. Um, they're using slut media, crack media, whatever you want to call it, um, where they just basically take the same exact information that somebody else gets, whether they know that it's true or not. So, I don't watch TV when it comes to news. My news and my media and my information comes from the people that I know, the people on the ground and the news media people that I know. Um, I know enough news media people that I can walk around with a, pe with a press pass. So if you guys want to know true news, real news, things that are really going on, pay attention to my Facebook profile and you'll find out everything that's going on on a daily basis, whether it's with the water protectors, fracking, oil companies, um, the, con the corruption of corporations, the corruption of law, presidential elections, whatever you may want to know about. It's all there on my Facebook page, Eva Gray Ingram. So if you would like to look at real media information and real news stories, it's all on my, my actual public media page on Facebook. <clears throat> now, everything that I post on Facebook, I always look up. Always. So when people tell me that it's fake or that it's not true or that this is unreal or things like that, I have backup. I can tell them, look, there's truth behind this, and truth, and truth, and truth, and more truth. Understand that everything that I put on my page is everything that's going to be reality. I'm not going to throw something up on my page that's not real, that's not seen, that's not right there in my time by somebody I know or by somebody that I trust. These are people that are on the ground. Understand, I have friends lists, people on my friends list that are on the ground in Aleppo and have gone or or have gone on the ground in Aleppo and know the honest to God's truth that the Syrian army is saving the refugees. That's right. MSNBC, CNN, Fox News, all of them, they're liars. Complete and utter liars. That's not the truth. The truth is, and the true fact is, is that the only people that are in effect to getting hurt are the terrorists that are in Aleppo. East Aleppo was the terrorist stronghold, the big terrorist stronghold. East Aleppo is no longer a big terrorist stronghold and is now freed. Freed. Quote me. Please, F-R-E-E-D, freed. Eastern Aleppo has been freed. The Syrian army is now moving through Aleppo, all of Aleppo, and turning it out of all the terrorists. The people running are the terrorists. Those are the people running. The citizen civilians are walking the streets on the daily basis with the Syrian army. Understand this. This is reality and this is truth. That's what's really going on. Now, when it comes to water protectors, we, under, we need to understand the things that happen at, um, over at Sacred Stone Camp, over um, Turtle Hill. Um, 
basically everything that happened over there, all of those water protectors that got arrested are now going to court. So, every single time that they go to court, they are not getting representation, correct representation by lawyers. They are not being given public defenders. They are not given the option to have any kind of lawyers come from out of state. They're getting their rights. And the amendments are being broken in North Dakota. Where is our government? Where is our American government? Where is the people standing up and saying, American government, you need to stop this BS right now. This is crap. This is not happening. This cannot happen. This is our own country. This is what we fought for. This is what we went to wars for. And this is what the American people believe in is honest and true quality and life. Understand that no matter if you believe in the good that the water protector is dead or not, you should also you should you should definitely believe in the amendment and the rights to justice and the rights to freedom of justice. If you believe that the water protectors should be tried in a court of law, you believe that they should be tried in a court of law under their own recognizance. Which means that the amendments need to be followed. They need to have correct res representation of a lawyer. Correct. Correct representation. Not this BS. And they're not even understand. <clears throat> the whole reason why there's water protectors there in the first place is because of all the oil, the fracking, the things that are going on all over the earth that are leaving a huge giant carbon trail. That's been proven. There is a carbon trail, and it is growing on a daily basis, and there's nothing that we can do about it, and there's nothing we can say about it. It's reality. There is a carbon print that we are leaving that is larger than Texas, people, and it's growing on a daily basis with all of the fracking, all of the oil, all of the things that we are digging up. And I've said it before, hemp products, corn, these things can be used to create systems and jobs electricity can be fan mills and hydros this is this is not new technology new things that are innovative i mean you can run a vehicle off of a pressure system from wood burning yeah that's right look it up people you can run vehicles off of wood burning stoves you can make them in a lower lower setting and a lower tone with a high pressured system and a canister setting off to the side, let's say a nitrous tank. That nitrous tank will give you enough pressure and enough gain if you run at a consistent power pace. If you have wood in the burner, you will gain pressure. You gain pressure inside of that nitrous tank, you're gaining gas. This is proof. This is knowledge that, that, that's not unspeakable. This is stuff that's been going on since World War II and before. We've known this stuff. We just won't do it. Because corporate corruption tells us that, bah, bah, be good sheep, listen to us, we're good people. Come on people, open your eyes, look. This is the way it is. This is the reality of America. This is our new America. You know, people look at us from other countries and they go, oh, it's freedom, it's freedom, it's freedom, it's freedom. And then they come over here and they go, this is hell. Are you serious? And there's people going to the dabble camps going, this is war. This is a war zone. A literal war zone. And this is in America. American people against American people over racism. Straight up racism you don't believe me you guys need to look at the background of the indigenous people over in that area and what they've been dealing with with those locals this is not new stuff i'm not just throwing this out there and saying racism racism no it's true they are literally going through this at sacred stone camp and over over there the at lakota Sioux territory because of racism Okay, so enough information for the day. This is Eva Grace Ingram. Um, I'm actually thinking about making my YouTube a pay YouTube so that it gets more hits. Um, because I believe that not only my word should go out there, but everyone should hear my word. 
so and what I have to say because I have a lot to say and I have a lot of knowledge about what's going on in the world that the news has no idea about they don't even know what's going on in the world the only way that you can know what's going on in the world is if you have reporters on the ground and they don't have any reporters on the ground where are their reporters up in their studios at their desktops doing their corporate love work understand it's all a crock of shit stop watching news media on TV it's a lie. It's a lie. Love and light. Anyways, thank you very much. Have a good day.